Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak, and we are, it is that time of year where we are going to do another what's in my pack kind of thing. I just got my pack ready, everything all set. I got bear hunting starting in two weeks, and then uh, two weeks after that, we get right into whitetail. So uh, I just got done organized and everything, putting everything where I needed it to be, uh, and what I'm going to carry in my pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera flip it up so that you can see all of this stuff but in order for me to do that you i can't be my face in the frame with you too so i thought i'd kind of introduce you to what we're going to do i'm going to reset the camera from a higher angle so you can see all these things and then i'll point to what's what explain why i carry it and uh break it all down for you so i'm going to reset the camera and i'll be right back Okay, here's what we have here now. Aside from my harness and my uh, lineman belt that I always carry with me all the time too, this is stuff that's always in my pack. Now there are things that I will add to this. If it's a uh, deep in wilderness hunt, I'll throw my SC number four knife in there and have that with me. Uh, there's there's certain things that'll come in and out. I may want to throw a set of a rattling bag in there. Who knows? So this is but this is the foundation. Uh, stuff right here that my pack is built on uh, a couple things I want to mention right off the bat on here for you is that this right here is the little cell phone holder that I use which is pretty awesome I've been using this they don't make this ultra pot anymore uh, but I've been using it for a lot of years and I just put a top of a selfie stick on there uh, but basically what this is, is it's a little mini self-standing tripod that stands up but it also can be strapped to a tree. So I've been using this for a while and you can just clamp your cell phone right in there so it sits nice. I've been using this for quite a few years. That's how I do my little hero fo photos and things like that. And it's worked good. This year, um, I'm trying something different on here that I'm, so that would be this right here that I'm gonna give a shot to uh, this year. But basically uh, what it is, I bought it on Amazon. Um, and it's a pretty cool little thing, but basically what it is, is it's very similar, it's very lightweight in size. It's got a clamp on here that will actually hold your cell phone in it so that you can put your phone on there. And it is a tripod, so it does stand. You know, it will stand on its own like that, you know, wherever you want to put it at. But these legs also will wrap. So you can wrap this around a branch or change the angle of this. Um, but these things will wrap right around a branch and hold on and pinch it and stay right there for you. So that makes it kind of cool. So I'm pretty excited to try this out. And then the head does have adjustability in there too. So you can adjust it, turn this knob loose, and you can swivel that head around and adjust it. But I can actually lock this. Uh, put it right up and you know go up and over and around and put it right on a branch or whatever I want to do So it does make it kind of cool. So I'm excited to try this um, I don't know much about it yet as far as uh, how long it'll last or what it is It's it was only like 14 or 15 bucks. So it's not real expensive um, It's um, it's called uh, um, UB size tripod pro um, like I said, it's a uh, Nothing nothing super fancy, but I'm gonna give it a shot because this thing weighs next to nothing This whole thing is all plastic for the most part except for the metal head But it is ultra ultra lightweight and it's slim design. I can fit it anywhere So that is gonna go with me uh, to use when I'm in the woods and it does come this is cool It comes with its own remote control so I can either turn on video or I can fire pictures so I don't have to get up from behind that animal or from wherever I am. If I want to take a shot out there and have me in it, I can actually fire this remote. It works with Bluetooth uh, to your phone. So I am excited uh, to give this little thing a shot, especially for the money. I don't have super high expectations, but I also, you know, it didn't require a lot of investment. And I, I don't need it to do much just to hold my phone steady for me, which that phone basically just slips right in. You just take your phone and set it right up, slide it in, and then there it is. And then you just set that however you want it. So it fits for any phone. Um, real sweet, real simple. So I'm excited about trying that out this year. That's there. Uh, so I got a few new things I'm trying this year. I am going with that uh, uh, that uh, Garmin 64 that uh, I've been using for most of the summer here. It's an incredible GPS. I, I liked it better reception. Uh, yes, I use a sock is what I actually just throw it into to throw it in my pack. Um, this saw. Uh, this saw this year, um, normally I use a Silky Pocket Pro, which I've really had great luck with and I loved. I used it all last year. This saw here, Steve Ture bought for me. He, he you know, he's talked about it a few times, but uh, this is made by ARS out of Japan. And uh, this blade is pretty impressive and uh, he swears by this saw, this ARS saw. And uh, so he bought me one to try out and uh, I'm excited to give this thing a shot. It is ultra lightweight. This saw weighs less than my uh, Silky Pocket Pro. 
And if it holds up and proves durable, I'm going to be sold on this thing because it is one heck of an impressive saw blade. Uh, very, very nice. So I'm, I'm pretty fired up about trying that out this year. Uh, but like I said, nice and lightweight. Another thing, you guys know I love... Uh, 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 zebra light headlamps this year there is a new one out from Phoenix that just came out that I'm, I'm testing out and I'm, I'm absolutely falling in love with it it's an incredible light I'll actually have a review coming up pretty soon uh, on that one where I talk about headlamps and I'm going to show you the differences and show you things so you'll see more on that but I always carry a headlamp with me I always carry a flashlight with me uh, everywhere I go and it, you know it's always in a pack and I like the adjustable beams so I really like the Eagle Tack series you're going to see a lot of lighters spread out through here because I, I think you should have lighters in your pack. They should always be there. Um, you, always available and easy to use. This is my haul line right here that I use. It's got loops in both ends. Uh, it's a little thicker. It's actually a 3mm uh, climbing rope or a 3mm accessory line. I like it better than paracord because it doesn't cut my hand so much. Because I do with that, I pull my pack and my bow up the tree at the same time. So I like having a little thicker, a little stronger rope. Uh, I have extra rope here for it as well too. This is just spare rope. This is another spare haul line, a little smaller diameter one, just that I carry as a spare in case I happen to forget that in a tree or leave it or whatever the case is. It gives me another option. Um, and uh, my arm guard, obviously, I, I only wear that when I'm wearing heavier clothing. Otherwise, I don't wear it, but it's always in my pack with me, ready to go. I do like a few different hats. This hat's with me, stays in my pack all the time, keeps the sun out of my eyes. I do carry a simple stocking cap just from the fact that it uh, uh, keeps me warm. Um, now, it is kind of redundant because I have another stocking cap here that has my binoculars in it. This is how I actually carry I don't use a binocular case. I take my binoculars and I just stick them right inside to here I just take and you know wrap that right around like that put them in there it's quiet I don't have any zippers or velcro or anything to mess with I set it in there and then I just roll that over and that's how I carry my binoculars in my pack so um, that's how, how those work sweet and simple so I technically don't need to carry this hat with me uh, but I do I bring it I don't know why it's just me so and they don't weigh much uh, toilet paper Obviously for when Mother Nature calls, but also great things to use for tracking uh, and marking stuff like that. This bottle I keep knocking around. Uh, you've seen this probably in other videos, but this is just a simple uh, regular water bottle that I've crushed down flat. This sits way down in the bottom of my pack. The reason I carry it though, I always have a bottle of water with me or something with me to drink when I'm in the stand too, but this one is one that I can use to boil water. So if I have to spend a night in the woods, I can take this bottle, blow into it, and puff it back up to regular size, fill it full of water, take a piece of rope, any of this rope that I have here, and I can hang that over the fire and I can actually boil water in there. And uh, it works like a champ. I've done videos on it many years ago. I did some videos and showed you, but I, it, it, it just takes up zero space and weighs nothing. And to me, it's easier than, uh, you know, dealing with, you know, purification tablets that expire every year and all this. This just always sits in my bag and it takes up no space or room and it gives me an option to boil water. Um, not that I don't have others, like uh, my toilet paper is double bagged. That gives me an option to boil water in one of those bags too. So um, there's things out there, but... For me, I just throw that in the bottom of my bag all the time. Uh, while we're on that subject, food, I always carry three of these, just simple Jack Links or whatever ones. I like these brands. They're around here and they're a dollar a piece, but I always carry three pieces of beef jerky like that with me. Again, if I do have to spend a night in the woods, which uh, when you, you hunt places like I do, it's always a possibility, especially when you get out there and start tracking them. And sometimes it's just easier to just crash for a couple hours and then finish it up when daylight hits. It's nice if I'm going to do that to have a little bit of food with me. So I always carry those. They don't take up much space. Um, and uh, this is my, my, basically, you would call it kind of my, my, my kill kit, my field dressing kit. Uh, I have that Havilon knife in there. It's basically the Havilon Peranto, which is there. And then I have, uh, I think I got four, three or four extra blades in there, plus a good one on there. Um, just so it fills that up and doesn't rattle around on there. A couple of wet wipes and some uh, black rubber gloves. And they all go right into this little bag, this little Ziploc bag, and get put right in the pack. Uh, like I said, if, I, uh, if I'm not, I don't use this Havilon unless I'm boning and quartering out animals. 
Uh, and if that's the case, I usually have game bags in there with me too, but this just always stays in there with me. Um, while we're on knives, I always have an extra knife with me, and it's this uh, S.E. Azula. This is one of my ones that has not been used yet. Uh, it has gutted a couple of deer, but it has not actually been, you know, I haven't done anything hard with it yet. Uh, the sheath is kind of remodified, and this is actually one of my old sheaths off of the one I used to carry in my pocket back in the day. So, uh, just like I said, some little modifications, but it made it smaller, and since this just hangs in my pack, uh, that sheath was perfect, and I uh, I think I used the new one off of this is actually the one I have that I have on my side that I carry here. I think this sheath here is the one that came from that one, and this one that's on here probably came off the one that I'm carrying. Uh, nothing major there, just a little switch up. Uh, the zip ties, because we use them for putting tags on, plus they also come in handy for all kinds of little things you got to do, so I always carry zip ties in there. These two big zip ties that you see, these white releasable ones, they are used that if I want to, if I need a pole saw, I can take my saw. Um, I haven't tried it with this one yet, but with that Silky Pocket Pro, it worked great, and it does with a Gerber, so I'm sure it will with this. But I can cut down a pole and then take this, put it right on the end of that pole, and then zip tie this right to that pole. And they're releasable, but it'll hold that really well and tight when you crank those down, and then I can use it as a pole saw. So uh, that's the whole concept behind that. I also do it with my trekking pole from carrying a trekking pole. So uh, that's the big zip ties. These are just some extra bright eyes that I have with me that you, pull, you stick into a tree. And then that way you can mark your spot. Uh, but I do that if I got an actual, if I have a stand in a tree and I'm leaving and coming back to it the next morning, it just makes it nice. Even though I can use a GPS to get in there or an app on my phone to get that exact spot. But sometimes, you know, if you've never been back in there before, it's nice to stick one of them right in a tree. And that way when you get close, it shows you exactly what tree you're at. This is my milkweed here that I just got done refilling. But this is basically milkweed pods that I use for wind detection. I've done videos on this too. It's an incredible thing. Uh, and uh, But that's just my tube full of milkweed. And the reason that you see a uh, you see this rubber band around there like that, that piece of rubber, is because I carry this in my front pocket with me all the time when I'm hunting. And that grabs my pocket and keeps it from ever falling out. So I don't have to worry about this ever falling out of my pocket and getting lost. That kind of just is sticky enough that it stays in my pocket really well and doesn't come out. And so that's milkweed. Um, these are extra straps here that I use to, if I have to hunt a diameter tree that's a little bit bigger. So I got a few variations of sizes in here, but basically um, they are pieces of lone wolf straps, things like that, but basically they're two loops and I can use these to extend my sticks and my stand to get me around uh, bigger diameter trees. And I got a few of them that are different size lengths in here, uh, just make it really easy for that. And every year it seems like I got to use them once or twice. I got to use them to get up to a, up a tree that is just too too big around for me to be able to use my stands on, or the straps that are on the stand. So I always have those, I throw them right in the bottom of my bag. This loose duct tape, this rides in the front pocket of my, my um, pack where it's real easy to get to. This I use to cover pine branches. So if I'm up in a pine tree and I go up and I have to cut a branch off with my saw, cut that branch off, I will use this if that branch is somewhere where my back or my clothing or something's going to sit against. I'll take this duct tape and I'll actually cover that branch. That way none of the sap sticks to my clothes uh, and then it transfers to my car seat or any of that kind of stuff. So this is just a little section that I, like I said, carry with me all the time, real quick and easy to get to because I do hunt a lot of pine trees. I have bow hooks. Uh, with the bow hooks, I use a simple, I don't like that bow hook point being there and being able to poke into my pack uh, or jab into anything. So what I do with them is I just buy these little uh, wire connector pieces right here and I just put it, give it a quick twist and they protect my bag and they're not poking through my clothes when I put them in the pocket. But I have a few of those, uh, Bow hooks is stay in a pack, plus I usually carry an extra one of these just because I'm notorious for losing them, so throwing one of them in that pocket makes it easy. Uh, I do carry a quick clotting sponge. We're dealing with broadheads, sharp knives, things like that. This weighs next to nothing, takes up so little of space, I throw it right in there and just let it just sit in there. Uh, always, you know, check the expiration on them. They're good for a long time. This one's good till... Uh, uh, 11 of 2018. I'll bet I've had this for probably two or three years, but it'll get me through this hunting season and then I'll have to buy another one. And then this little kit right here all goes in this little bag right here. It's just a spare lighter, uh, a little, very small little tube of uh, super glue, 
that hasn't been opened yet. It's all sealed up, but it just comes in real handy for all kinds of things, including cuts, stuff like that. But super glue, uh, some Tums, uh, two little knife sharpeners. There's a standard grit here and then a medium grit little piece and I can use that real well. I just hold it between my fingers and I'll use it that way. Not that I have to do too much with them, um, but every once in a while they come in handy so I throw them in there. Batteries for my spare lithium batteries for my GPS. Two spare CR123s that will work in my headlamp or in this light right here. Um, and in a spare compass, the other compass, you don't see another one on here because it's actually mounted on my belt that I wear on my body all the time. But this is a spare compass in case I need another one. A whistle in case I have to have it, a spare tab, and then more duct tape. Uh, just another little small lightweight section. All of this stuff goes in that bag and sits there with me all the time. I actually put this rubber band right around it just to compress it, make it nice and small. Uh, this is actually my, my kind of, you know, little bit of, uh, uh, I guess you'd call it a survival kit if you needed to. It's got, uh, you know, ibuprofen in there. It's got fire starting materials, a couple of band-aids, a uh, roll of dental floss, a few gauze packets. It's got three of the survival blankets, so stainless, or the steel uh, survival blankets in there. I don't carry this with me every single time, um, but I do carry it in my, my backup bag, which is always in my truck. And if, I, if I'm if i hunting in a stand that's not too far away, I don't take it. Uh, but if I have to go blood trail deer at night, I do take this and I throw it in my pack along with the other things that I need. I just grab out of that bag and this gets thrown in. If I'm going into a stand that's pretty far in and I, I want to have it, I bring that with me. But it's, it's in or out, it kind of just decides on what I'm doing but it's always right there, handy, close by, ready to go. I don't leave this at home. It's either in my pack or it's in my truck ready for me to take it if I need it. So um, that right there pretty much covers everything. The rest of it is pretty, you know, I mean, it's, it's not a lot of stuff. This stuff doesn't have a lot of weight to it and it doesn't take up much space, but this is the foundation. Uh, this is a rain hat. This is actually a Frog Togs uh, waterproof rain hat here that... Uh, I got a, I think I have a spare pair of gloves in there too, just in case my hands get cold. I have a pair of just regular black jersey gloves. And then this is that Frog Togs waterproof uh, beanie rain hat. hat. It's uh, They're like 13 bucks. It's ultra lightweight. I mean, it weighs literally like nothing. It's made out of the same stuff as most Frog Tog material is. Uh, but just really little, very small, and it folds up nice and compact. So um, I, I leave this one in my pack all the time. If I get caught in the rain, that big wide rim really makes a difference in, uh, um, you know, keeping me dry and keeping, keeping me comfortable. So this just is in my pack all the time. That's my little set just, again, gets thrown right down in the bottom of the pack. But... So, like I said, very simple, very easy little system. This is the foundation. I may add a little bit or take things away a little bit, but this is pretty much the stuff that's with me um, all the time and gets me through anything I need. You can see that there's really not much I, I, I don't need or, you know, there's not too much extra in here. Um, obviously, I could go with a lot less of this if I'm just hunting close to the house, but since it's in my pack, I put it in there, but all this stuff is very lightweight. There's not a lot of weight to this. Probably, by far, the most heaviest thing on here is my binoculars. Everything else weighs next to nothing and takes up very little space in a backpack. So, um, But that's the foundation. That's uh, what, what I run. It doesn't matter if I'm running the, the Kuyu pack here at home or if I'm running the uh, XO Mountain pack and I'm running those, you know, I'm all my out-of-state hunts. It's really easy for me to take that bag of stuff there. That, you know, it takes me literally about five minutes to just open a bag up, pull this stuff out, switch bags, and, and keep right on going. So uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back with more stuff soon. We'll talk to you later. Bye.